needles sits at the top of a bicycle wheel with diameter 0.75 meters. Assuming, assuming the wheel turns. I'm going to actually stop you for a moment, and here's why. A typical mistake, a classic mistake in this class, is to use the diameter as the radius. Please, anytime you're given a diameter in a problem, stop and figure out the radius. You know the radius is equal to the diameter divided by 2. That's equal to 0 0.75 <coughs> meters divided by 2, or 0 0.375 meters. You will save yourself a lot of consternation in the long run if you simply convert over right at, or get the radius right at the beginning. Assuming the wheel turns counterclockwise, what is the angular displacement of the beetle before it is squashed under the wheel? What arc length does the beetle travel through before it is squashed? We're looking for two things. What are the equals? Uh, S. And? Thank you. Okay, these are the two things we're looking for before the beetle gets squashed. So let's make sure we can see this visually. We have initially the beetle is at the very top of the wheel. Then the wheel turns, and eventually we have the beetle get squashed. So we start out here. Aaron, do me a favor. You can stand at the lab table. I will not be offended. It's OK. Nope. Don't. That's fine. Tell me you're sorry, but go stand at the lab table. I'll, I'll, I'll no. Stand at a lab table. It's very simple. I, I'm not hurt if you stand at the lab table, but you're going to fall asleep again, and that would be sad. So we have the beetle on the very top. It is going to turn, and then it is going to go. So the first question is? What is the theta during this event? He too. Visually, that was my cue there. That's, I'll, I'll do it again. The theta, how, what is the angular displacement of the wheel from this moment until? I'm going to do it in degrees, but yes, we'll convert over to, to radians. It is going to be how many degrees he took? 180 degrees. Now, I do understand that a lot of you can look at that and simply say it's pi radians. That's true. I agree with that. But we have to be able to do these conversions because I will not give you 180 degrees. I will give you something like 176.25 degrees, right? Just to make sure that you can do these conversions. So help me figure out the just do this conversion. Edward, convert from 180 degrees into radians. Um, put 180. I would prefer in the long run that you just use this so that you only have one thing to remember. Pi rad. <laughs> you should say radiance rather than radiance. That's but 361 degrees. degrees. We need to make sure we have all of our degrees there. So clearly it works out to be pi radians. Good. We can now figure out the arc length. S equals R times theta. We have the radius 0 0.375 multiplied by the angle, which is pi. So we get the arc length the linear distance traveled by the bug before it gets switched. Thank you. What are the dimensions on this? Dan and her will help me work through it. What are the dimensions on the radius? Um, meters. meters multiplied by the dimensions on pi. Radius. Meter radian. So, in the end, we get 1.2 meter radians. Ah. So you want us to multiply by pi and not just leave it? Ah, yes. You sure, certainly should multiply by pi. Uh, rather than in your math class, you're going to leave that. In this class, we're much more concerned about what the number actually represents. So, for example, it's hard to figure out which one's greater, 7 pi or 23.2. Right. So you want to be able to, you want to multiply through by the pi. Learn. Is it all right to just leave it as all meters instead of meter radians? Not only all right, that's what you need to do. Notice, meters times radians. Radians are dimensionless. If it does not need to be there, you need to get rid of it. So this is 1.2 meters because it is a linear distance, right? So it's going to be in meters. Meter radians and meters are the same thing. 